Welcome to the Iputronic Online Academy. This video series will cover various topics in easy to follow along videos. Additional assistance can be provided through the worldwide Iputronic locations. Iputronic is currently made up of five different business units. This video will focus on the measure and motion products. In today's video, we will cover how to bring Iputronic hardware into a third-party data acquisition system. First, we will look at the differences between the CAN and Ethernet-based modules, briefly touch on the sensor scaling inside of IP Motion, and then export a DVC and an A2L file to bring into the other system. This also works the other way around, bringing third-party hardware into the IP Motion software, so we will briefly take a look at how to do that to finish off. First off, we need to distinguish between our CAN and Ethernet-based modules. Let's start with the CAN-based modules. Our MSense, MThermo, MCMT, and MRTB modules all communicate via CAN. This is a standard protocol that's very commonly found in the automotive industry. The first step is getting these signals converted to something that the computer can read. Typically, a USB to CAN adapter is used. There are other options like built-in cards. Like with many other components, we support various third-party systems within IP Motion. Here are a few USB to CAN adapters that we commonly see and support. The IPtronic Ethernet signal conditioning lineup includes the MX Sense 24, the MX STG6, the MX Sense 28, as well as the previous generation SX STG. These do not require an additional adapter to go into a PC as they connect straight to the RJ45 Ethernet connector. Let's take a closer look at our CAN modules first. If you have selected and connected your USB to CAN adapter, you will require a DVC file to bring in the data that's being transmitted. The file is a standard format that contains all of the sensor scaling information. The other system can then decode the messages and display the engineering units. The process is almost the same when we look at our Ethernet-based module lineup. The file format for these types of devices is an A2L file, which is also a standard format. It contains the same information as the DVC file and can be loaded into the third-party DAQ system. Let's take a look at how all of this looks in practice within IP Motion. The free version of the software can configure all of our data acquisition hardware. If you want to learn more about how to scale sensors, please check out our other tutorial video. Within the X plugin and the Signals tab, we have created a system that has multiple CAN units attached. Scale the sensors according to their data sheets. When scaling is completed, click the Initialize button to write those settings back to the module. Select the CAN node that all the modules are connected to. This will be shown as the top level of the tree structure. Right-click, select Export and CANDB file. Choose a place where you want to save the file and a name. Remember that the initialization and the CANDB export needs to be repeated if there are any changes made to the configuration. We have now created another node for Ethernet-based modules. The process is exactly the same. Scale your sensors, select the top level of the tree, select Export, but now instead of selecting CANDB, select the A2L file. The same rules also apply here. If there are changes made, make sure to reinitialize and re-export the A2L file. Both of these formats are non-proprietary and can be opened with any text editor. In this case, I used Notepad++ to show the internal file structure. You'll be able to see header data and the individual channels on the CANDB file. The A2L file contains some additional information, but is structured in a very similar way. Integrating seamlessly with other systems is only possible because we follow a standard format, XCP on CAN and XCP on Ethernet. In addition, anyone can go to our website and download the free IP Motion Basic version. This enables anyone to use the free software license for configuration and exporting of A2L and DBC files, even if they choose to go with a different data acquisition system. This also works the other way around. If you have existing data acquisition equipment and would like to use the IP Motion software, you can import an A2L or DBC file here too. The only requirement is that that equipment also communicates on standard CAN or XCP over Ethernet. To bring in hardware through a DBC file, we select the Protocols plugin. We then detect or choose from a list of available USB to CAN adapters. You will recognize some of these names from earlier in the video.
Once you have selected your USB to CAN adapter, find the channel that you want to import the DBC to. Right click, select import, and choose the DBC file. A window will pop up to prompt you which channels you would like to use. Multiple DBC files can be loaded onto the same CAN channel. To bring in Ethernet-based equipment, we select the Ethernet system from the drop-down menu. Again, we right-click on the node, select Import, and choose A2L file. There is one additional prompt window that asks whether it is XCP on UDP or XCP on TCP. Select whatever is appropriate for your equipment. The next prompt window will again ask you which channels you would like to use. Select them one at a time through the search function or by pressing select all. The external channels are now available to use within IPMotion. Every data acquisition system is slightly different. If you are unsure how to import a DBC or A2L file into the system that you're using, consult the instruction manual or the local help resources they provide. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our info at IPtronic email address or your local IPtronic branch office.